Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day in 1543, the weary entrada of Hernando de Soto was pursued by a powerful native force in the Natchez Bluffs region while making their waterborne escape to the Gulf of Mexico via the Mississippi River. Following de Soto's death on May 21, 1542, and a failed attempt to reach Mexico via an overland route, Luis Moscoso de Alvarado led the expedition back to the Mississippi River, where they constructed seven boats to make their voyage, which they began on July 2nd. On the second day, a native armada who claimed Coqualtum as their chief emerged upstream from the Spaniards. The Europeans had heard of the powerful chief the previous year when he had answered the request of tribute from De Soto. Expedition chronicler, the gentleman of Elvis, recorded the chief's response. Quote, the chief answered him, saying that with respect to what DeSoto said about being the son of the sun, let him dry up the Great River and he would believe him. With respect to the rest, he was not accustomed to visit with anyone. On the contrary, all of whom he had knowledge visited him and served him and obeyed him and paid him tribute, either by force or by their own volition. Consequently, if he wished to see him, let him cross there. If he came in peace, he would welcome him with special goodwill. If he came in war, he would wait for him in the town where he was, for not for him or any other would he move one foot backward." End quote. This powerful native naval force was described as being 100 canoes, some of which held 60 or 70 Indians, and able to, to conduct advanced maneuvers on the river that created many challenges for the Spaniards. These warriors of Coqualtum, believed to be the predecessors of the historically known Nachi people for which the city of Natchez was named, harassed the Europeans for up to three days as they descended the river. Nearly 150 years would pass before the Nachi people would experience Europeans in their homeland again. I am Lance Harris, director of the Grand Village of the Natchez Indians, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.